guys, this is Emma. I'm kind of taking a lazy day today, so my hair is all so, mind you. I am doing my empties video. I know it's very, very long-waited, and I'm sorry about that. It's been 14 days since I was supposed to do my video, so there is some stuff I have finished while in the process of waiting to do this. Um, for instance, I've finished some medication bottles um, because I put them in my pill pod. Um, which, for instance, I put all my medications in here. I know it's a lot. Um, but that way it downsizes everything. And I do it by day, not by here's morning, here's night type medications. So, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to show you what I like the most. And that I would actually buy before. Um, I would buy anything else. And then the other things, I would show you, like, where I got them, etc., etc. How I feel about them. If I would get them in a dire strait, then cool. Um, but, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is the Swab Professionals Naturals uh, Light Leave-In Cream. You pretty much, after you take a shower, you put like five pumps on your hand. You put it through your hair. It's like a detangler cream. Um, I got this from the Gathering Place, so I didn't spend any money on it. But I would totally get this again. Um, I rarely do anything for my hair, and the fact that I actually like something is kind of amazing, so it's one of those I would definitely buy this again. Um, another thing I got from The Gathering is, um, let's see, I'm not wearing my glasses, so. Under the Canopy People Planet, it's body lotion, it's white citrus and lime. Um, Consistency, not exactly the greatest, but the smell is, like, wonderful and actually is one of those awakening kind of ones. I would get this specifically because the awakening. And, yeah, the consistency isn't, like, the greatest, but it's greater than most that I've used. So, it's one of those. I would get this in the basis of that. Um, the thing I would get, definitely no problem would be this uh, Coconut and Lemon Everyone Lotion 3-in-1. It's a body, hand, and face cream. Um, my man didn't get all of this out because he uses it to rub my feet. See? See? Just on the base of that, there's still some more in there. Um... But I would totally get this again. So. Just because it has like a lemony, fresh kind of smell. And it's like coconut oil. Um. So pretty much, that's pretty good. Um, I also got that from the Gathering Place. Um, a couple of these things I've got at the Gathering Place. And then some of these places, you know, I got for free from my mom. Or something along those lines. Um, these three are from the medications that I put into my pill pod, so, obviously I got them as prescriptions, so they're gone. Um, I got this from the Gathering Place, it's Gillette uh, Foamy Regular. It was alright, I, I rarely care about shaving cream. It's all expensive, where... Quality sits pretty much, um, but I got this at the gathering place. I got it for, for yeah, fairly, fairly cheap. I got it for free, <laughs> um, but I probably wouldn't buy it because it's always so expensive. Um, New Look Suave Skin Solution Advanced Therapy Lotion. Um, I think somebody left this at my house. And I'm not completely sure. But, it's one of those, I, I like suave stuff, so. 
It's just because what I grew up on, but I would try to find something more moisturizing, honestly. Um, I have two of these. I have Neutrogena Clean Normalizing Shampoo. I got two of them. I like the consistency, so this is a definitely would buy if it was separate. If it was in the store, per se. But, I have no clue. So it's one of those, maybe I'll add it, because if they have it at the store, definitely. Because it was really good with my hair. Um, I know I would have to get this online, because my mom had ordered this for me. Um, I have two Honest products. It's This is the Honest Company Hand Soap, Lavender Field. I like this company, but they're so expensive. I'm very picky about what I get. So, it's one of those, yeah, it was a good product, but... Mm, it's one of those, a lot of people don't like these fresh scents. But, I really like this soap. Soap? Wow. As you can tell, I'm trying to wake up. Um... But, pretty much, it's pretty cool. Um, this one is Organic All-Purpose Balm. It smelled like lemon. Um, which I liked. Because it helped with my elbows whenever they were super dry. But, like I said, they're, they're so expensive. I don't know how my mom afforded it. Um, and then, some more items I got. I don't know. That's conditioner. It would probably be best if I wore my glasses. So, don't mind me. Um, I have a couple conditioners from the same brand. So, give me one second. Uh, fudgy. Um, okay. So, um... I have this Aroma uh, Botanicals Conditioner uh, um, things I got from the Gathering Place. They give you like little samples for stuff. And that's why I have so many samples. Um, the consistency wasn't that great, but the smell was wonderful. So, it's one of those, not exactly my first buy that I would do. So, those are gone. Luckily. Um, let's see if I have any more. Yeah, I got three. Okay. So I have these three Q shower conditioners. Same consistency. Not exactly the greatest. Um, but except for this smell was okay. It wasn't like that super great. Sadly. No, I'm glad those are gone. Um, my man had dumpster dived for these, well, this. This is, uh, Home, uh, de, Home de Passion eh, Body Lotion. It smelled musky. Um, it was pretty thick. I like the consistency, but I did not, the scent was more, more like a male scent. That's the best thing I can say. So I, I'm thinking that it was primarily for men, but it was with a whole lot of girl stuff. So it's worth using because it was still in my collection. He got it for me for free, so no problem. Um, I got this from The Gathering Place. It's N4 uh, High Performance Hair Care. It's hairspray. It was okay. It was still normal hairspray, crunchy, and crap whenever you use it. Um, let's see. Okay. I thought I had more than this. Um, but I have this Paul Mitchell Awapi shampoo. I like the consistency and the smell. But <laughs> Paul Mitchell's expensive, so... 
Um, this is the same company as that lotion I would get. The consistency was wonderful, but surprisingly the scent of this one didn't smell as good as the other one. Um, under the canopy, white citrus and lime shampoo. So it was one of those maybes. Um, obviously this is always a good one. I would get it for my baby. Johnson's baby shampoo, but obviously that's kind of like standard. Um, and then I have coconut lime verbena, volumizing shampoo from Bath and Body Works. Always a good smell. Um, Terra Pure Organic Natural Green Tea. Didn't like this. Sorry. I really did not. Um, this one, Mandarin Balancing Cleanser Shampoo. It smelled nice, but the consistency, no. Um, this, uh, Nourishing Ace Balline Hydrating Conditioner. The consistency was okay, but the smell was... No. I'm very picky whenever it comes to certain things, so my bad. Um, and then I have Reach Dento Tape. 5 yard, uh, 4.6 meter sample. Uh, not for resale. Oops. But I finished that. I do floss my teeth, com teeth compared to most adults, but I don't know. I, I have a lot of free samples, so it's one of those, like, it's not a need that I go shop for more, but. Uh, I got this uh, CF Spa Dead Sea Mineral Shampoo. I like the consistency, but I didn't like the smell. It was kind of blah. But that's gone. Um, I'm missing one thing. Uh, sorry. Um, I have this sunscreen lotion that I finished because I sunburn very easily, sadly. And it's just standard. It's just one of those first aid kit kind of things. I have this L'Oreal Color Vibrant Intense Conditioner. I finished that. That was one use. It was alright. It's a good product, just expensive. So it's one of those, the only time I buy that type of stuff is if I have a coupon or if it's on sale. Um, Eco Amenities Conditioner Shampoo. Um, the consistency was watery. The smell was okay, but I probably would never buy it again. This one, definitely will not buy it again, but Dawn Mist uh, Gentle Formula pH Balance Shampoo and Body Wash. Does it, it smells so strong of apricot and it's so watery, so not worth it. Um, the Garnier Skin Active... Miracle Anti-Fatigue Wake Up. Um, I'm using some other products right now because I got some free stuff from either dumpster diving or got some stuff from the gatherings. So oh, it's one of those combination things. Um, I have an extra Q-tip. Um, I actually finished these um, a couple days ago, but it's the... Fresh scent shave cream. They're like little packets. I have the aerosol sprays, but I haven't even finished those yet. They have a lot more product compared to that. And then I have this fresh mint um, toothpaste. I like try to squeeze as much as I could out. Um, and then I have this no name toothpaste that I did the same thing to. Like I said, I'm trying to use all my samples. So, I have a lot of toothpaste, and I just want to get rid of it. And then one of the other things I have finished, yes, I would buy again, but not specifically 
at this moment because I have a lot going on that I want to use up products. But I have this Avon hand and body lotion. Um, if you don't use it in the time expiration, it becomes very flaky. Um, so yes, I would get it if it's brand new. Um, but I would not get it if, you know, it was, I got this at the Friday store. It's, um, in Arvada. And they do, like, discount items. This was $1.99. They're originally $3.99. So that's kind of like a bargain. But that's kind of like the basis of what I'm talking about. I'm sorry that this video is super long, and I appreciate you standing by, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.